Hey guys, I'm Amy with Gold Plating Services for those of you who haven't met me. Um, today I have the pleasure of working with Terry. He is going to help me plate this thin um, copper foil. It's commonly used with stained glass, jewelry making, um, a lot of different uses that you can have. However, it can be tricky because it has an adhesive back. Um, so we just want to plate the surface so that our customers can use it, um, pull it off and then adhere it to something. So I'm going to have Terry show you with our universal plater today, um, with our ElectroClean surface activator, bright nickel and our bright 24 K brush gold solution. All right guys, so here's the universal plater for those who may have not seen it up front. This is our non chrome edition. However, this would work if you have our chrome edition as well. All right, go ahead, Terry. Okay, we've, we've put the copper foil down into here to a basin to catch the solutions. The first thing we need to do is electro clean the copper foil surface. We've got our common lead connected here and we're at about seven volts. You can see as I go over it, it's kind of bubbling on there. And that, <clears throat> what that does is clean the surface and just make it so it's really available for the processes to come. And that's really long enough for the electric cleaning of that copper foil. Okay, we've electro cleaned and you can see that the paper behind is kind of curling a little bit. However, normally that doesn't have any effect on the adhesive properties. So the next thing we're going to do is activate the surface of the copper with surface activator. And we'll be using about the same voltage. And we just want to make sure we go over the entire thing at least once. So in order to ensure that, I'm going to go over the entire thing twice, but it's really about that quick. Okay, now we're going to apply a bright nickel plate to it. And the nickel makes a perfect surface for the gold to adhere to. The nickel is harder than the copper and it can prevent it's, the copper from diffusing through the gold and eventually corroding over time. Now the bright nickel in a bath, in a brush plating operation like this, looks a little bit different than the bath. The uh, bright nickel in a bath is, uh, it really makes a brilliant level surface that fills all the irregularities. So we're doing this at about three and a half volts. I'll probably crank it up just a little bit. You may be able to see down on this one end, it looks like one little area where I probably didn't get the electro cleaned quite good enough. And so that's the effect. You can see the nickel is not jumping on there as quick as it did to the rest of the surface. But for gold plating on this copper foil, that is how much nickel I would put on. I, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but it, really does make a nice bright surface. Okay, now that we've applied the nickel and we want to do it fairly quickly, we wouldn't want to go to lunch. Now I'm going to, with our combination handle, it's very easy to switch out the copper solution or the nickel solution and put in our bright gold. Tighten it up. The bright gold is a purple solution. And we're going to leave the voltage about the same place as we did with the nickel. And because I'm plating within a matter of a minute or two, I don't need to worry about reactivating the nickel. If I came back a day later, then I would. I would just go through the, the three step process. But this should just, the gold should just fly on. And it is, hopefully you can tell mm. that in the video. Oh yeah, you can see it. So this is our gel solution. It's a little thicker than what the liquid would look like. Do you prefer a liquid or a gel? I, I like it. It kind of depends on the application. If I'm working on a, 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 a vertical surface like the emblem on a car, I definitely prefer the gel because it kind of, you see how it kind of hangs in and puddles? And I'm using very light pressure. I'm, I'm not pushing at all. I'm really only using the sleeve to control 
the puddle of solution. And I, I went over the whole thing quite quickly. And now, depending on how, long, how thick I wanted the, the gold to be on there, I would probably make four or five passes over the entire part. And I turn my sleeve over so that I've got fresh solution in contact with the work. There are a lot of cases where I prefer the liquid. If I were doing a, a whole bunch of coins by hand, I would use a liquid and I would do it over a, some type of a container that could catch the excess solution. This, this gold solution, as long as it's purple, it's got gold in it and you don't want to throw it away or waste it. So when I'm done, I'm going to, I'm going to collect it up and all I can, and, and that's it. Now we'll do a quick rinse. Now let me dry it off real quick. There we go, we've applied a 24 karat gold to a copper foil with a nickel underplate. All right, so Terry's going to do a common test that we do in the shop um, with all of our plating jobs, and it's just to make sure the adhesion, um, that the gold adheres to the surface that it's plated onto. And if and it did, it would come right off on that tape, and you can see that none came off. So that means that our, our cleaning and activation process was successful. I'm kind of curious, you know, the end where it didn't put the bright nickel, would the gold come off? Let's find out. Oh, the gold adhered. Okay. So there's a piece of foil. It's uh, a little bit wrinkled up, but you know, it's very thin copper foil and the adhesive backing still appears to be in place although it's a little bit wet, but to use it now, you can peel the paper off and put it on whatever you wanted to make conductive. All right, thanks, Terry. Check us out on our YouTube channel, Gold Plating Services. Look for the Golden Globe.